Good morning, guys. It's uh, Monday, and it's the start of a work week. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to work myself, but I thought I would update you guys on Hyperspin. So I tried to do it yesterday, but uh, my video got interrupted, so I pretty much said, screw it. I'll do it today or something. So I want to talk to talk to you about if you want to set up Hyperspin, like what it entails. So Hyperspin, if you don't know what it is, it's the front end to uh, my main cabinet, my bar top arcade cabinet that I'm building, and it's going to be really cool. So, uh, basically, you when you load up Hyperspin, like say you go to the website and just download it, you're going to have, you're going to load up into the user interface, and it's going to show you on the right side a cool scrolling bar that will let you choose. Uh, what you want to play uh, as far as that platform goes. So do you want to play a main game like an arcade game? Do you want to play Nintendo, Sega, Super Nintendo? Uh, you can go through the big list that they have already populated of uh, platforms and then they have artwork for each uh, on the home screen like out of the box. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the only thing you got to worry about is you know, what do you want to do now? Because, say I go in that meme directory and look at the arcade games, now each of these games don't have artwork. Uh, they don't have, and the artwork has art files that actually show up, and then they also have a video file that will display, once you hover over a game or a platform, a video will show um, basically previewing what you're hovering over. So, basically, you download Hyperspin, but now you don't have any artwork, you don't have any games, you don't have any emulators. Um, now, that's where the work really starts. You have to make a decision on how you want to use Hyperspin. Do you want to use Hyperspin for everything? Do you want to use it for just arcade games? Do you want to use it for just a certain amount of platforms? In my case, I wanted to use it for everything. You know, I want this to be a thorough, complete collection. Um, so, you know, I'm going to have the most work. Uh, here's what happens. So say I want to get a system up and running. Super Nintendo, for example. First thing i got to do um, is make sure my hyperspin is ready. Um, let me tell you about the parts of hyperspin. You got Hyper HQ, Hyper Launcher, and Hyper Spin. Hyper Spin launches Hyper Spin. Hyper Launcher is a part of Hyper Spin. It's pretty much what makes all the magic happen. As far as like you pick a game, it'll switch to that game. You're playing the game, you hit Escape, and you go back to Hyper Spin. It's what makes that magic happen. And then you have Hyper HQ, which configures Hyper Spin to work with those emulators that you're you know you're pulling. Um, yeah, this is pretty basic stuff I'm trying to explain because I didn't know this stuff until I did a lot of research. So, you start with Hyperspin, you get an emulator that will work with it. And, and the way you know what will work with it is it actually has in Hyperspin config a list of all, well, some of the emulators that it supports like out of the box. But if you want to add more, um, or you know, what you have to do is you have to patch your Hyper Launcher to make it like, um, I, I forget what they called it, but it's sort of like basically creates a directory in your hyperspin folder called like models. Um, and it'll let you put in like uh, files in there that'll add compatibility to games. And in the past, you couldn't do that without like recompiling your hyper launcher, and that's a real pain. So uh, basically, you have to go on and you have to update your hyperspin. Uh, your hyper launcher, my bad, uh, to allow that capability. That way you can go on there and go on uh, hyper launcher's website and you go to like hyper list or something at the top and then you can go and pick the console. So in my case it was Super Nintendo and then you see it'll say the supported emulators and their APK files or whatever the, the extension is uh, for those emulators. So what you want to do is be like, oh, do I recognize any of these? Because in my case, you know, I recognize two of the Super Nintendo emulators. 
this boils down to personal preference, and if you don't know, try to get the most popular one. Do a Google. Type in uh, Super Nintendo emulators, enter. And whatever's the first thing you see, that's probably the most popular one. So, in my case, I downloaded one. I put it in the way the directory structure works. Uh, you can do it any way you want, but the way I'm doing it is hyperspin directory, then emulator directory, then uh, the name of the console, so Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Go in there, and now that's the root of the emulator directory. So I'm going to put my Super Nintendo emulator in there, and then in there is going to be another folder called ROMs, and that's where I'm going to put my games. After setting it up, I, you know, got the Hyper Launcher APK, I put it in the directory, you know, so it's perfect. You're going to have to do research on this, guys. I'm just kind of pointing you in the right direction. So you got the APK file in there that tells Hyper Launcher how to react to the emulator. You got the emulator in there. Uh, you got the, a ROM that you can test in the ROM directory. And you go to Hyper HQ next and go to your Wheels tab and then go to Super Nintendo. And you're going to make sure that it's pointing to your new emulator executable. So if it was like ZSNES, you'd have it point to ZSNES.exe or whatever. Um, and then you want the ROMs directory also. You want it to point to the ROMs directory. All right, so now you got Hyperspin ready. You can use you click on Hyper Launcher, and if you updated it, uh, it now pops up in a new window, and you can pick an emulator and pick a game and hit launch. And if it works, that means it'll work with Hyper Launcher, pretty much. Um, there's some little things you got to do, but that's kind of like the starting point. So after you got all that figured out, now it works, um, and we'll talk about like what we got to do next. Uh, I'll be right back.